You and 50 million of your fellow Americans may be familiar with allergy symptoms such as itchy eyes, runny nose, and scratchy throat. But what exactly are allergies? An allergy is an immune system reaction to a normally harmless substance such as pollen, dust, pet dander, or a food protein. When this reaction happens, the immune system produces antibodies to the irritating substances known as allergens. And those antibodies trigger the release of histamines and other chemicals. It is those chemicals that are responsible for the symptoms of allergies. Sometimes the allergens cause symptoms in the nose, lungs, throat, or sinuses. Our allergens can affect the ears, causing ear aches, the skin, triggering hives or eczema, or the gastrointestinal tract, causing cramping or diarrhea. Allergic asthma can also develop from exposure to allergens. And in the most severe cases, a person may have a life-threatening allergic reaction called anaphylaxis, which can cause difficulty breathing and low blood pressure. This may come from a bee sting or a peanut allergy, for example, and these most severe allergic reactions are quite rare. According to the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology, the most common allergy triggers are pollen, dust, certain foods, insect stings, animal dander, mold, medications, and latex. No one is sure what causes the immune system to overreact to normally harmless substances, but doctors do know that most people who are allergic develop the problems when they are 10 years of age or younger. And allergies tend to run in families. If neither parent is allergic, there's only a 15% chance their child will become allergic. But if one parent is allergic, a child has a 30% chance of developing allergies. And if both parents have allergies, their child has a 75% chance of developing them. To find out more about allergies and how they can affect your body, check out other videos in this series.